Today I'm going to make this cute Easter inspired wall hanging. Hi, I'm Sheena Joy and if macrame is your jam, then subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Let's start off with a quick tip. Put a couple of rubber bands on opposite ends of your wooden dowel so it won't slip off your hook. Alrighty, to get our project going, we're going to tie all 13 cords using a lark's head knot. In most of my tutorials, I like to demonstrate the first knot and then just motor on through. But if you need to see a slower down version, go ahead and check out my knot tutorial playlist. Moving along, we're going to use another cord and we're going to tie some vertical double half hitches. To tie these knots, make sure that your working cord is behind your lead cords. And we're going to work with our loop on the right hand side, which is the direction that we're going. The first knot always looks a little wonky, so I'm going to demonstrate the second knot in this one as well. Okay, always bring your working cord in behind your lead cords here, like so. And then we're going to be tying our knot with our cord on the right hand side. Okay, so that's our first half hitch done, and then we're going to do our second half hitch which makes it a double half hitch knot. Okay, I'm just gonna zip through this first row and then I'm gonna show you what it's like when we go back in the opposite direction. Don't forget to give this video a like if you find this tutorial helpful. Okay, now we're gonna work from our right to our left and be sure to always keep your working cord behind your lead cords. So essentially this is the same thing as before, only it's just mirrored in the opposite direction. The key thing to always remember is that your working cord is always on the side of the direction that we're going. So bring your working cord behind your lead cords and we're gonna be working from the right to the left. And again, I'm going to motor through a bunch of this and then I'm going to show you how to switch out your colored cords. Okay, now to switch cords, we're going to bring a cord up and out of the way. And then we're going to grab our big old ball of yarn. And we're going to do the same thing as what we did at the very start of this project. We're just going to tie another vertical double half hitch. When switching from rope to yarn, make sure that you are using yarn that is comparable in size as your rope. Okay, now that we have our gray on there, we're going to swap back to our white. And it's the same as before. We're going to take our working cord and we're just gonna pull it behind and switch it out again. Once you have the basic understanding of your vertical double half hitch, this project is crazy easy. So I'm just gonna zip on through. The project details were near the beginning of this video, so don't forget to take a screenshot of that page. Also, if you do make this project, feel free to tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see it. You really have no idea how much it makes my day. This project was requested by a lovely lady over on Instagram. If you have any requests, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Okay, so now it's time to clean up the mess on the back. To do it properly, it's best to weave it in and out of the knots in the back, but I like to do things quick and I just tighten a bunch of knots and trim off the excess. Next, we cut the fringe to the length that we prefer. And I don't know about you, but the last project we did was a lot of combing, so I'm keeping the fringe short this time. So we just comb it out to make it all fluffy and then I give it a final trim just to make it extra straight. So with the extra pieces that I trimmed off, I'm just gathering a group. And then with a spare piece of butcher's twine, I'm going to tie it right in the center and fluff it out. And then give it a trim to make a cute little pom-pom. And then we hand sew his tail on. I think his fuzzy little butt is a cute little detail. 
And this wall hanging doesn't necessarily have to be just for Easter. It would look really cute in a nursery too. If macrame textile art is your jam, then I hope you consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And here are two more videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.